Hello Colors, welcome back to Viva Barca and welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to discuss on some interesting updates. We start with Neymar as new sporting director Deco have opened the doors for a possible return for Neymar in the near future. We are going to discuss on that as we move ahead. Secondly, talking about Ansu Fati as the Barca Academy gem is seriously considering leaving Barcelona in the January transfer window as Xavi still looks like he won't count on him moving forward. So guys, as we get right into it in much detail, please do ensure to subscribe if you haven't turned on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. Barcelona have undertaken a structural change in the hierarchy as the club officially confirmed Matteo Alemani's departure in September while naming Deco as the new sporting director. Even though the Portuguese had already been involved with Barcelona since the beginning of the summer window, he is now presented with an official rank. Speaking to a recent report from GE Global, Deco gave an insight into the club stance on Neymar Jr.'s operation, which failed to materialize. Neymar completed his move to Al Hilal earlier this week, but before the transfer came to fruition, rumors of him potentially joining the Catalan outfit spread like wildfire. It was reported that sections of the Barca board were heavily in favor of bringing back the Brazilian. And Neymar himself was keen to make a move after regretting his decision to leave in 2017. Now Deco has opened up about the difficulties that the club encountered while pursuing his signature. Deco said, everybody knows that, you know, at this moment, unfortunately, with our financial situation, it was impossible to make such a signing. We needed an understanding with PSG or a settlement with the Saudi Arabians, something that didn't happen. It was a situation that needed to be economically viable for us, but it was never a possibility because of the club's economic situation. Barcelona's dire financial state has already forced them to make considerable concessions and place a great many existing players on the market. As such, arguments that the club could not afford Neymar's wages or find an agreement with PSG do not come across as a surprise. There were also reports that the Saudi Arabians would be willing to loan Neymar to Barca for a certain period, but despite Neymar's interest in completing a Barca return, that possibility was ruled out. Of course, the Neymar saga came like wildfire, as many Barca fans started being optimistic that Neymar will definitely return to Barca. That was the perception that we had, right? That was what we already knew, because the way the media was making it, it was as if Neymar would definitely be a Barca player, and there was no stopping. But unfortunately, of course, the guys who have the more money, they came and just hijacked. Ali Lark came with a very huge offer, an irresistible offer. Um, amid a, a period when Barca was like, they were confused if going for Neymar, Javi is not in favor of that. Will it be something good? Will it spoil the manager's plans and stuff like that? So at the end of the day, we lost out on Neymar. Of course, same as how we did with Messi at um, early on this window. It, so it's just like that's how it has always been most of the time. So Barca, you know. So Barcelona have been trying now to show interest in Joao Felix as the next alternative after the failure to sign Neymar. But still yet, Joao Felix's move looks still complicated all because the player's price is quite high. And of course, he still has a long time contract there, but Barca now are contemplating on going back for a loan move, knowing that it would be cheaper to go for a loan move with an option to buy rather than going for a permanent fixed move. But still yet, reports are saying that Xavi Hernandez is not a great fan of the player as Xavi wants but is attacking midfielder and also a right back 
If there's any space in financial fair play, according to Chaffee, then Barca can make use of that to bring Felix. But he does not prioritize Joao Felix joining Barca at this point, which have come to as a big surprise to many Barca fans. Even a big surprise to Laporta himself, the president, who really wants a big name player. He wants a marquee signing to join, according to reports. But if Chavi continues to say he doesn't count on them or he doesn't see them as as fit into his plans, then I, I really wonder where are we heading to. We don't even have a forward who can score apart from Robert Lewandowski. And here we're talking about Ansu Fati, who even knows to shoot the ball to the post to score, has been linked to an exit as well. So Deco has just been discussing on how things went on on that Neymar case. And from what he said, he just admitted that it was never going to be possible for Neymar to return to his boy, to his um, old stomping ground. And of course, we all know that Xavi also had a part to play, but you wouldn't expect Deco to call Xavi's name about that. You know, but nonetheless, we just have to move on, see how we can get the other players to strengthen the team. But Neymar's coming could have been a huge boost for us, you know, economically. He could have brought that, 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 that you know, financial um, advantage to Barca. That's why Laporta was pushing for a move for the player. Then on to the final story of discussion. The future of Ansu Fati has once again become a hot topic in Europe as we head towards the final phase of the transfer market. In recent weeks, there has been renewed speculation over the future of the Barca forward who seems to have fallen down the pecking order somewhat. You know, according to David Ibanez, Ansu clearly wants to continue at Barca. He has hinted time and time again that he wants to prove himself in Catalonia after a difficult last season. But if things do not improve, Ansu Fati wants to consider leaving Barcelona this January window. Why many believe his role could be more important following the exit of Usman Dembele, it appears Barca are putting more faith in Lamine Yamal. At the same time, Fati has been courted by several top clubs in Europe, with Atletico Madrid emerging as one of the potential suitors. Clubs from the Premier League have also propped the young attacker in the past and could be open to signing him this summer. Ansu Fati, for his part, is very disappointed with the way Barca have failed to guarantee him a role in the first team this season. Xavi Hernandez has been so reluctant to assure Fati continuity of the 20-year-old whenever asked by the press, insisting that the transfer window is still open. As a result, even Ibanez claims Ansu could be open to leaving Barca in January if he struggles to gain regular game time by December. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.